In this video, we're going to go through the process of installing Python 3 on the Windows environment. We will also go through, through the process of using a package manager to manage our installations. So first what you need to do is open up a browser and then go to this address which is cmder.net. Scroll on down and then click on download full. This will download a zip file. Should take you anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds or so to download. Now, once that file has been downloaded, go ahead and locate it. It should be in your downloads directory. So I'm going to minimize my browser. I'm going to open up my downloads directory. I've got a copy here already, so I'm going to get rid of this extra copy I don't need. I'm going to right click and say extract all, or you can also say whatever you want to extract it to. Now, uh, you can wait for it to extract. It'll take you between one, two, three, four, five minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Once it's been extracted, go ahead and you can remove the zip file. We don't need that. Open up the CMDER directory by double clicking it. Right click on CMDER, the application, and say send to desktop create shortcut. Now you can go back to your downloads directory because you may need to go there later, but likely not, uh, not likely to later. Go ahead, double click on the commander shortcut. And then what we need to do for running any commands or any installations in this is we need to make sure we're running as admin. So locate the plus sign down the bottom right here. Click on the arrow. Come over to where it says number one CMD and then locate number one CMD as admin. Click yes. And then if you look down here on the bottom, you have two windows technically open or two tabs. CMD one shows us our current user with the little warning shield has us logged in as the admin. So now open up your browser and in your browser go to the website chocolate.org. Yeah, chocolate.org. Come down here, click install chocolate. Scroll on down and then go ahead and find where it says install with CMD. You can do the PowerShell extension but you'll have to change this environment here to using the PowerShell, which you can do from the drop-down environment. But again, it still has to be done as the admin. But we're going to be running with the CMD. So place your cursor in here and select the whole thing. I like to double-click and that'll select everything. I'm going to press Control or Command-C since I'm on a Mac environment emulating this, but you'll probably, since you're on Windows, right-click, copy. Now come over here to Commander, right-click it again, and paste it in. Now click enter and wait for it to go through the installation process. Now I believe I already have this installed so it's going to go through it quite fast for me. Go ahead close out the window and then in your browser scroll on up and find where it says packages at the top. Now in the search bar on the packages page. Type Python space 3. Now we're looking for is Python 3.x which means whatever version after 3 and we're going to look for the command. So the command is going to be choco install Python 3. Let's open up our commander application again. Let's switch over to admin and then let's minimize this window so we can see what the command was and go ahead and follow along with me and type this command now it's going to go through the process of installing Python 3 for you says do you want to continue 
type Y for yes. If you type no, it will not install Python. Now that Python has been installed, go ahead and you can close out this window, close out the browsers, and then open up Commander again. The reason why we're closing and reopening is to do a simple refresh so that the program knows to, if any commands have been run, we want to start anew. We could have opened up a new window too, but this works just as well. Type Python dash dash version. And there we go. It shows that Python has been installed for us. That's how you install Python.